Through a Scottish Prism, the programme that is unapologetically pro-Scottish independence and anti-Westminster rule. Everything we say here is viewed through a Scottish Prism. Brought to you by Barhead Boy. How are you, Phil? How's Cat Man do? Do we like it? It's a very interesting place. I found uh, an, an incredible wee, wee place. Remember the scene out of uh, Indiana Jones where she's drink, out drinking all the guys in the bar? They're drinking a drink called Roxy. And I've had a few of those tonight, so if it all goes awry, it's nothing to do with me. Blame the, blame the Roxy <laughs> and Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. So basically you've got... Um... War criminals calling war criminals war criminals. <clears throat> the the biggest shame in all of this is the pathetic state of the United Nations, which is no longer fit for purpose. This is um, a race to the gutter by all of the superpowers. There'll yeah. be a European Defence Force. I hope so. I mean, the other reason for that is that America's attention is moving away from Europe. And to very China. much towards China. And, As it should. You know, I, I, I think it's quite likely they'll be spending a lot more money in Japan, South Korea, various countries. India, like that. And India with like, a huge army and a nuclear uh, You know, weaponry. I think it's far more likely that that yeah. will happen anyway. And it makes sense. But the other reason why I think it will happen is the very, very poor performance of the Russian conventional forces. I think up until now, people, probably most of Europe, thought Russia was capable of overrunning them in conventional terms. Um, in 1689, the uh, UK Parliament um, took sovereignty, took the what had been the sovereignty of the, the monarch, and that now became UK parliamentary sovereignty. Through a Scottish prism, the programme that is unapologetically pro-Scottish independence and anti-Westminster rule, everything we say here is viewed through a Scottish prism. Brought to you by Barhead Boy.